Good morning, everyone. Why is it so yellow? Let me off the light. Ugh. Good morning, everyone. It's day, I don't know what, four, five, five. And we are going to bath today. So, yay, I'm excited. Okay, I'm okay. Lah. Actually, I wanted to go there because of the Christmas market. But we only realized that the Christmas market has ended on, I think, 11 December. Um, like right before our flight so and we already booked everything like the accommodation and train tickets so oh by the way right now it's actually raining outside i'm not so sure if this can be captured hold on oh oops i don't know if you guys can see it but it's actually raining quite heavily today uh maybe if i zoom in a little bit look at the puddle you can see like the ripples made by the raindrops so yeah we are gonna head out so today we are going to go go to Boro Market again to get some food um, to go so we can eat it on the train, right? It's about an hour train right from London. Luckily, today's Boro Market actually opens at 8am. It usually is 10 to 6 or 10 to 5. But today it's 8 to 6. Maybe it's because, you know, Christmas is coming out and they are going to be closed for 3 days um, from Christmas to 27th December. So. Yeah, I'm gonna head out right now and I'll keep you guys updated when I probably probably when I reached. Okay, see ya! video here first because it's raining heavily I don't want my camera to get caught in the rain so I'll update you once I finish purchasing my donuts and brownies hey guys I got the goods I got the brownie but um the donuts are not ready yet the, the I asked the guy he said it's gonna be ready at 10 a.m. but we have a train to catch at 11 a.m. and the, this, the, the travel time from Borough Market to our train station is about 30 minutes so we are not too sure if we can we can get it on time yeah I got the goods anyway, this is the brownie it's rock hard actually, hold this oh my gosh, I think it's cold, it's so hard it's like chocolate bar can you guys see like oh you can see a little bit I'm breathing Hot air out of my mouth. I can't speak, but yeah. Can you guys see it? <laughs> it's it's actually winter here, right? But I wouldn't say it's very cold. I feel like it's um because it's around like eight to ten degrees, which is still okay. It's just that it's rainy, but I like the weather. It's not too bad. It's like aircon everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Instagram reels, yes, Instagram reels that someone had this, this, um, what do you call it? It's like sandwich, Sto but it's like toasted sandwich, right? I think. Yeah, toasted sandwich. Yeah, um, and I found it, it's at Borrow Market, and I'm gonna order it. It's right here behind me. So, we are getting the honey truffle parmesan. Anyway, <laughs> right now we are waiting for hand because. It looks like the sandwiches are not ready yet. Oh my god, the rain is damn heavy. Look at the... Oh my goodness. We're waiting for the shops to open. Although, like today, right, it's supposed to start at 8 a.m. But I think most of the stores, they are not really ready yet. And yeah, although the, like, the, the vendors are already at their store, but they are still preparing like the ingredients and stuff. So. So we're just gonna wait until 10 and get our buy our stuff and quickly leave for the train. So earlier my cousin was like, she's secretly like hoping I think that we <laughs> miss our train so we don't have to go to bar because um, there's a strike warning tomorrow at uh, midday 
um, for train uh, for our return train from Bath to London. So she's afraid that we'll, we will not be able to come back from Bath and um, the following day, because tomorrow is Christmas Eve, the following day would be Christmas and then um, Boxing Day and the train will only start operating on the 27th if we do miss the train tomorrow. So we were discussing about our other alternatives to come back. Either we rent a car, we have to drive. Actually, it's not we, it's just I have to drive. Because my cousin, right, she has a driving license and she don't drive in Singapore. So it's like very unlikely for her to even drive here. So anyway, so we only have two alternatives. Actually, there are three alternatives. So the last one is something that we wouldn't want to. So the first one is we can take a coach back, hopefully if there are still seats. And if, if we really got affected by the strike, la, then second is we can take, um, we can rent a car. Hopefully we can rent a car and drive all the way back to London. Third choice is to rent a, a private hire, which is like 200 over pounds, which is really, really expensive because for a coach ticket uh, per person is about 29 pounds. So it will be like 10 times more. And it's really, okay, maybe not 10 times, five times more because two person would be like 50 already, right? Yeah, about five times more, which is really expensive, and we I we probably wouldn't want to spend that that money lah. It's a bit unnecessary. Anyway, that's my ramble, and um, we're still waiting for the shops to open. It's about like nine thirty right now, nine forty right now. So another twenty minutes before we can get our stuff. Hey guys, quick update. So we were rushing with time. Actually, we were fighting with time, rushing for time. Literally fighting. <laughs> with time but when we reached here there was a delay so there's about 20 minutes delay and the train just reached and we are still at the we are now at the Paddington station waiting to board the train and the gantries are not open yet so we're just waiting for that but on a happy note we got the goods <laughs> yay can't wait to eat it um on the train later oh my god it's so far away the dog one is in our cabin. We just reached spa. No, bath. <laughs> it's called bath spa, so I got confused, sorry. We just reached our Airbnb place, which is actually quite a distance from the train station and also quite a distance away from town. But anyway, um, my cousin booked this little cottage. And we're in a guest house, which I think is like quite newly renovated. Or it looks quite newly renovated, like it's quite a cozy small corner it's just it's a bit far but i'll do a quick house tour so this is the exterior and we walked in from here to this little door let's get in it's a little bit chilly outside this is the overview of the room it looks like this oh my gosh that door is the toilet we have a mini kitchen here oh, i don't 
I don't think this is shut tight. Yeah, okay, this is the fridge. And then we have a microwave, some teas, coffee, um, a sink. We have two beds here. There are no TV, but it's fine. We're only here for a day. And um, yeah, a small dressing table. Drawers. And then this is the toilet. So this how it looks. Yep. It's tiny, but it's more than enough than for two people. We are here. Yay! We're gonna take a small little break and then explore this place because we have quite limited time here before we go. We are out and about now. My cousin wants to get a tea because she's really cold. Um, I'm doing okay because I'm wearing a turtleneck, so I'm not that cold. But yeah, it's quite windy and it's quite chilly, to be honest. Is it here? We'll see if we get to do some ice skating here because although the Christmas market is over, I did read on Buff's website that they still have ice skating ring. The architecture here is quite medieval and gothic. That's literally the description on Google Maps. Um, yeah, and it, it's like, it's really nice. Okay, there's one in front of us, it's, it's like gorgeous. Look at this! Beautiful! Turn left! Guys, we're walking to town on our way. The view here is really nice. I'm covering my face because it's so cold. Ooh. Just alleyway. There's a lot of shops. Oh, there's macarons. Macarons? Macarons. Oh, they're so cute. Chocolate. Huh? Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, I think it is there. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. This looks like where the pasta will stand. And then I guess this is like, I don't know, read out choir. But oh my god, look at this, it's so beautiful. The interior, <coughs> the interior details are so beautiful. This is so nice. Oh my god, imagine walking down the, this aisle. during your wedding. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh my god. Look at the window. Wow. Oh my god. So pretty. Let's sit it down. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Look at the details of the floor. Just came up 
from the Abbey Park. It's amazing, beautiful. <laughs> oh wow, it really looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> Come on. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. I love this place. It's so nice. And so chill. And chilly. <laughs> We are going to cars. Let's take a look. Shopping time. How much is it? <coughs> There's a mini tiny flea market. Moving on. Walking down the street. It's so cold. <laughs> upon this place it's called the crossbar wow oh my god we found another Primark so I've been hunting for this like pants to match my top that I got which was 8 pounds it actually is a set but I couldn't find like the pants because I went to two Primarks and both Primarks ran out of size for that pants so Wow, there's a prime there's, there's a prime out here in the bar, so we're gonna go take a look. Primark. Even the top is difficult to find now. Mine was the kindness count. Weird. I still can't find my pants. It's not it, it doesn't even exist here, so another field trip. I'm not gonna look for you anymore. Unless like you know we chance upon a primer. I'm not gonna go to a primer just to look for the pants. Um okay. We are now looking at shoes because my cousin's uh, boots quite broke apart yesterday while she was walking. Oh, looks good, looks good. It's raining again. So we are over here. Um, there's a Christmas tree. <coughs> so we decided not to go to the Roman bar. We found this um, 17.5 pounds per adult to go in. And also because the weather isn't that great today, I think we're just gonna find somewhere and have dinner and then maybe slowly make our way back. Yeah. Yeah, we were trying to look for ice skating wing, but I don't see it anywhere. I mean, I, I'm not very sure where it is, but I thought it would be around this area because it's quite central this is already. The town. Yeah, this is the central, like the city area. And but I don't see it. Settled in bread. No, we settled with Thai food. I know it's Asian food again, although we are in UK. <laughs> but you know, there's a reason for it because um, the restaurants are nearby, right? With all the like steakhouse and stuff, they don't come with. They're not serving hot soup, and I'm really craving hot soup because the weather is really cold. It's colder here than in London, honestly. I personally feel, and it started raining again. It's gloomy, and the wind is like really chilly in your so, face. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's like very windy. <coughs> but in London, I don't think it was this windy. So, yeah. I'm just gonna wait for my food. I'm excited for my Tom Yum. And some spring rolls.
It's currently like 6 p.m. and it's really dark outside and we're just heading back to our home. Um I call it a night. We'll probably explore a little bit um before we leave tomorrow morning. Uh yeah, but right now I just gonna go back because it's really dark and cold, yeah. It's really cold. And it's quite a distance to walk back. So that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye.